I want him to just process. keep doing useful stuff. Useful. <laughs> so, <laughs> Maybe uh, Brian, I, I've got a question about iterate.ai. Is it because you, in your demo and in other places when I've looked on the website, you talk about the fact that your software runs on CPUs, which I guess is as opposed to is it GPUs that NVIDIA, the high end stuff that most people think of when they use talk about AI? Yeah, no, that, that's a great question. So what happens is typically if you look at, uh, depending on what you're using it for, um, some case, our software runs on both CPU and GPUs. It, it runs on both. But what, but what it can do is it can run these large language models, depending on the large language model, on CPUs as well. What it means is if you are using this in a drive-through or if you're using this in a, in, a, in, a, in a convenience store, now you don't need to all that compute. Right. And, and along with compute, it, uh, there is power, storage, all those things are there. Right. The more you store, the more compute you have, the more power you take and then less green you are. Right. CPUs have been deployed for years and years and years. And IT, IT teams are very familiar with deploying it. Right. Uh, the thing that you are showing here is really cool. This is called AI glossary. This is a thing that we built because we want to educate, educate everyone on AI. 